Audio system. Your audio system includes an AM-FM radio and a single disc CD player. Press the center of the power volume knob to turn your system on. Turn the knob to adjust volume. Your radio will play AM, FM, and satellite radio stations. Press the AM-FM band select button to change between AM, FM1, and FM2. Press the satellite SAT button to choose XM1, XM2, or XM3. To manually tune the radio, turn the Tune Folder audio knob left or right to move up or down through the stations. To tune and stop at the next broadcast station, press the Seek Category or Track buttons left or right. If playing a CD, press and hold the Seek Category or Track buttons for more than one and a half seconds to fast forward or rewind. Release the button to return to normal play. Press the buttons for less than one and a half seconds to advance to the next track or return to the beginning of the current track. To quickly scan through radio broadcast stations, press the scan button. The tuner will seek out and stop at each broadcast station for five seconds. When you reach a station you want to listen to, press scan again to stop. You can set up to 6 AM, 12 FM, and 18 satellite stations in memory. First, choose a radio band by pressing the AM FM band select button or the satellite button. After selecting a radio band, tune to the desired station. Now, press and hold the desired station preset button, 1 through 6, until the sound mutes. When the sound resumes, the station is set in memory. To play a stored station, select the radio band where it was stored, then press the corresponding button, 1 through 6. While playing the radio, if you want to change to CD play, press the disc auxiliary button. The current disc will start to play. To load a CD, the ignition must be at ACC or ON. Carefully insert the disc into the slot with the label side up. The CD will automatically be pulled into the slot and start to play. To eject a compact disc, press the CD eject button. Pressing the random repeat button while playing a CD will offer the following play patterns, track repeat, disc random, and normal play. This feature also works to randomize or repeat tracks, discs, and folders when MP3 discs are played. To adjust audio quality, press the audio button in the center of the Tune Folder audio knob. It can adjust bass, treble, balance, and fade. Simply press the audio button repeatedly until the effect you want to adjust appears in the display. Then turn the Tune Folder audio knob left or right to adjust the desired effect. You can also press the Setting button on the control panel and select Audio to adjust additional audio features like speed-sensitive volume. Speed-sensitive volume, or SSV, will automatically adjust audio volume levels depending on vehicle speed, making the audio louder at faster speeds and quieter at slower speeds. Your vehicle is equipped with a USB jack in the center console storage box. Plug a compatible storage device, such as an iPod, into the jack to play audio and video files stored on the device. Once the device is plugged into the jack, press the Disk Auxiliary button repeatedly to switch to the USB iPod mode. To play an iPod, connect the cable supplied with your iPod to the USB jack, then connect the other end of the cable to your iPod. If compatible, the battery of your iPod will charge while connected to the vehicle. When plugged into the jack, only the audio system controls can be used to navigate and operate all iPod functions. Press the Disk Auxiliary button to choose from the following modes, CD, DVD, USB iPod, Music Box, and Bluetooth Streaming Audio. To set the clock, press the Setting button on the control panel and select Clock. The clock menu will display several options for setting and adjusting your clock. Press the center of the power volume knob to turn the system off.